Oh, hi, welcome to the RMSP Video Studio. Come on in. So this is our little tiny 12 by 13 foot room that we call our video studio. And I think it's pretty unique because we've actually fit two completely separate sets into this one room, as well as storing all of our equipment. So what I wanna to do today is show you all how we record our videos. How do we do the record the A roll? How do we record the B roll? What gear do we use? And kind of go through it. Also, special note that this video is sponsored by Small Rig. They're a company that I have used for years and they reached out wanting to sponsor a tour. So here we are. We'll talk more about Small Rig as we go through the video. So this is our A-roll set. This is where we shoot the main A-roll talking head portions of our videos. And one of the things that's unique about this is we also use this to live stream online classes. And when I do that, it's just me doing the live streaming. So I need to also be able to switch cameras, operate audio, monitor levels, monitor stream health, and all of this is built to do that. You'll notice we have a boom mic hanging from our ceiling grid here, as well as our main key light. In fact, we only do a one light setup for the light on my face in our main A-roll. We do have two background lights as well. We'll talk about those in a minute. So let's focus in on the video recording kind of functionality here. The first thing is I have two very inexpensive video monitors that are purely there for kind of keeping me informed as the presenter. This one is only used when I'm doing online classes. It actually acts as a second monitor for my laptop, which plugs in on this table. This monitor is what my live stream is seeing. So if I'm doing a YouTube live stream or even an online class, this shows me what's going on. And I have a little switchboard down here where I can switch between our overhead view, which we'll talk about in a minute, as well as my main A camera. We can flop back and forth as well as monitor things like audio levels, stream health, etc. This right here is a nice monitor. This is a Ninja 5, and this is actually a monitor that monitors what my main A camera is doing. And for our A camera, we use a Fuji X-T3 with a 23 millimeter F2 lens. And that's perfect. It's a great focal length, fixed, works good with good autofocus speed. And this monitor gives me a good, nice full screen view of what's going on. All of our audio is captured into a Mix Pre 3, and I actually have a UltraSync timecode device plugged into this. And all of our ninjas in the studio have timecode devices attached to them. And what this does is this little time clock here stays synced between our A camera, our B camera, and our audio, so that our editor, Julia, has a much easier time editing and putting together the videos in post-production. We also have a couple remotes like light remote for one thing, light remote for another thing. Obviously you gotta have a slate in order to keep everything synced up. We do still slate all of our videos even with timecode because if you've ever used timecode before it can easily get a frame or two off due to input lag and things like that. So having a slate as a backup is super sweet. Now I mentioned a B set. Let's go over to the other side of our super tiny room and look at the B camera and how we do overhead shots for B roll as well as for online classes. So this is our top down set. And again, we have a Fuji X-T3 up here on an articulating arm. So I can actually move this camera anywhere I want to. I can raise it, lower it, and again, Everything in this set, in this whole studio, is designed to minimize the number of stands that we have on the floor. There's only one stand in this entire studio. Everything else is either wall mounted or mounted to the table to minimize the amount of tripping hazards as we work in the studio. When I am using this articulating overhead camera, its feed is mirrored to a ninja over here to the left. So that gives me a live feed of what's going on. I can hold up a camera, adjust my overhead set so things are in the right place, and I can show things, which is super sweet. And we use this for B-roll. We also use this for A-roll. I also will do this live during a class. And you can see there's actually a separate microphone over here that as well sends into that mix pre-recorder that we talked about earlier. So one thing that's also kind of cool is that this light is actually mounted to the wall as well. So it can shift left, shift right, I can move it up or down, and that's actually a, a unique type of stand used for wall mounting lights, just in this exact purpose. And I'll leave a link to this stuff down in the description too if you're interested, because I think, again, 12 by 13 feet, we've packed a lot into this space. One other thing this space is useful for is not just top-down B-roll shots, but also straight-on B-roll shots. You'll notice that we have a little seamless paper roll here with just some wall-mounted baby pins. These are called baby pins, and we have some super clamps mounted to those baby pins. 
and that allows us to actually throw a little seamless down onto this table as well as a bunch of other surfaces, use a tripod, camera, and be able to shoot straight on B-roll of different objects as well. So I mentioned that Small Rig is the sponsor of this video, and I was actually really excited when they reached out wanting to sponsor because I've been using Small Rig products for years, and I love what they do. Let's take a look at some of the cool things Small Rig makes and how they can help you. So one of the main things I think people think of when they hear of Small Rig is camera cages, these 360 wraparound cages that give you a bunch of mounting options for your camera. And I've been using cages on our cameras at RMSP for years, but Small Rig actually makes a ton of other stuff. Um, this is our DJI RS3 Pro gimbal. And Small Rig actually makes these really cool extension arms to be able to two-hand operate this one-handed gimbal. And what's really neat about it, they actually have a wireless control module that I can pull off here. And this remote controls the gimbal, but it doesn't have to be mounted to the center like the gimbal itself. So it actually can be over here on the side and we can operate the gimbal with the joystick and all the controls without having to have our hand in the middle. This is one of many small rig bins that I have here in the video studio, but they make tons of little clamp arms, adapters, all kinds of different uh, ways to connect different pieces of gear with one another. One of my personal favorites is actually their little cable clamp. So this can screw into any small rig cage and it gives you two clamps to clamp cables down so they don't get pulled out and your ports don't get damaged. Let's take a look at how we use one of these. So here's one of these cable clamps in use. We have one of these on all of our cameras. And again, the cabling coming out of the ports on the camera, very delicate, but we keep it clamped so we can keep a nice swoop on the cable and protect it. So if this ever gets yanked on, the port itself does not get damaged. So the third and final job of the video studio is to house our equipment. And obviously organization is super important. So what I've done is bought a bunch of shelving from Uline and then I carpeted the top of this one. And this is where we keep all of our equipment and our delicate gear. So we're actually building out a new video studio. Um, and that's why we have a bunch of ninjas and X-T4s and extra cameras because we're gonna be expanding our online classes pretty soon. So we have some extra gear here. But this is where lenses, gimbals, cameras, things like that stay. We also have our massive screwdriver for attaching small rig cages to our cameras actually. And a bunch of other little small rig parts like their little cheese board here where we can grab screws and different tools that we need. And this is kind of the rig building area of the studio where we build out a rig to take on location or to shoot some B-roll in the studio. So that brings us to drawer land. Um, these drawers are actually bought on Uline. I'll leave a link in the description because I love them. I bought one bank of them and I was like, nope, we need more. So I kept buying and bought a couple more. But we organize everything, cabling, uh, different small rig mounts, different monitor adapters, GoPro mounts, Insta360 mounts, all that kind of stuff. Whatever we need is right here and it all has a place. Obviously, label maker, super important to make a organized video studio. But the whole idea is that when we're rigging over at the rigging station, whatever we need is in one of these drawers. So that brings us to lights and tripods land where we've got some little tiny tripods, larger tripods underneath, as well as some small rechargeable lights. These are actually really cool. Um, this is from a company called Nanlight, and these are actually the lights we use on the background of all of our videos. And they're RGB controllable, uh, battery powered little tube lights. These are the one foot variety, but they are adjustable color temperature. They're super color accurate. And we use these for lighting B-roll mostly. Yeah, and our, and our thumbnails. Yeah, Julia just said that and she's spot on. That brings us to battery land down here. This is where we charge everything. So I'm a huge believer that camera batteries are just not good enough. So whenever we take a camera out on location, we always bring a USB power bank with us. We actually made a video on USB power banks not too long ago, probably about a year ago. I'll leave a link up there in the corner for you all to check that one out. But powering your camera externally is awesome, especially with video. We also have our GoPro batteries, Fuji batteries, V-mount batteries for lights, all kinds of different things here. And then our charging station over here where we have micro USB, USB-C, all the different charging types that we might need. And then underneath here is just general storage. We've got a green screen and a bunch of other random little bits. 
And that's how we film our YouTube videos. I guess the final thing to mention would just be that in the background we have two four foot Nanlite tube lights, same thing that I showed you all the little battery powered version of. They're pretty sweet. I didn't focus on what's behind me because you all see that all the time. This video I wanted to show you what's behind the camera. If you all like this video, I would really appreciate you hitting that like button. If you didn't, you know what to do. Special thanks again to Small Rig for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. As you can tell, I love Small Rig products. It was awesome to work with them on this video. Hit subscribe to stay up to date with more videos and let me know in the comments if you want links or have any questions about any of this. Thanks everybody.